if you weren't aware, today is the first day of the Nordstrom Public Access, which means anyone and everyone, whether you are a cardholder or not, can shop the sale. Now, if you've already shopped early access or you've heard things are sold out, I have been told that Nordstrom held back inventory to release during public access. Fingers crossed that is true. So I'm going to show you every single thing I personally picked out and picked up and bought. All the tags are removed, so they're all staying home with me now at this point. Um, whether they're showing sold out or not, because I'm not sure what's gonna get restocked. And these are fall items, so the idea is that they will be back in store at full price at some point. So if anyone's curious and wants to shop later, here's your reference point. So first is this sleeveless piece from Maggie London. I did not think I could wear a midi length skirt or dress, but I'm really liking this length. I wanted something a little more conservative, but with a little bit of a print, just a little less conservative. What I love about this dress, I can wear it now as is. I can layer a cardigan or a blazer over it later as the temperatures hopefully drop, but it's a really fun piece to wear now. I love the drawstring waist, makes it very custom fitting, and there's also a tie at the neck, so you can really decide how close or loose you want. Um, the dress to fit you. And I love it with nude pumps. It would be fun with hot pink pumps, coral pumps, booties, you name it. It's a very versatile dress and I can't wait to wear it out of my house. Okay, this next piece is from Halogen. This is the second year in a row that I have picked up one of their drop waist dresses. Last year or the year before was a long sleeve one. Obviously this is short sleeve. I love the prints. This is not the only print option, but I feel like this line is really fun and flirty and flattering. And again, you can wear it right now because it's short sleeve, but again, layering a piece over it, maybe some tights and boots you have a, you have, I can see pairing this with like a long cream cardigan and some suede boots and now you have a fall outfit. So really versatile and very, very comfortable to wear. I should say that the halogen line on me tends to run big. So I am basically five foot four, five, three and three quarters. And so for me, I tend to grab their pieces in a petite. So I really loved this concept of a smock waist on the dress because it just, it's going to fit you just perfectly without being too tight and too binding. It's a really fun dress. I like the neckline. I love a long sleeve and the midi length again. If you're working in an office where you have air conditioning, this is definitely a dress that you could wear right now. Clearly it can go well into the fall. I like how it fits a little closer to the body. So again, you can layer something over it quite easily. It's a really fun dress and it's a really fun dress to twirl in because you know, that's important at this stage. But no, I really love the dress and Halogen is just killing it in the dress game. So if you watched my dressing room try on, you've seen this dress from Topshop. I did end up getting it in the US size four. I love this dress. I love pairing it with booties. I think it'd be great with uh, nude pumps, black pumps. It has a lot of options. Again, this is a wear now, wear later dress. I love that you can do a little bit of adjusting. So it has a zipper, uh, neckline, you can raise or lower it as you see fit or however comfortable you want to go with that. And then the drawstring waist, again, depending how big of a lunch you had, you might want to let it out, take it in. I'm just kidding. But I really like those little details and the price on this is incredible. It also comes in a solid kind of orangey red color, but I really like this beige and black print. They're two very traditional neutral colors, but the print makes it a lot more fun. Now we're into the one skirt I picked up and I went a little crazy with leopard print. You're gonna see a lot of leopard print moving forward. I went from basically owning one or two pieces to maybe seven or eight more. Anyway, so I, again, the Chelsea 28 brand on me runs a little bit big, especially in dresses or skirts, anything you know with a length to it. So I grabbed this in the petite. It's an extra small petite. I love that this has an elastic waist. It makes this dress really, really versatile. So you can wear it at the midi length, like I'm showing you now. I just threw on a black t-shirt with it. It's a t-shirt from Target. Um, it would be really cute with a denim jacket over it, a white t-shirt, any kind of solid print. I think shirt would be great. It's versatile, not just in what you can pair with it as a, in a shirt, but also the footwear. Can you can make it very casual with white sneakers. You can wear some black pumps or black booties and totally change it up. But you can also change the length because of that elastic waist. So I pulled it up more to my natural waist and then tied uh, the t-shirt around it. If you're gonna raise it much higher than this, maybe 
don't do a v-neck you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a second but um you know or I could have left the shirt raised it up a little bit left the shirt untucked and taken a belt and wrap that around it just to hold everything in place but if you want the skirt to be even shorter I raised it up all the way over my chest and then tied the shirt at my natural waist level and now I have an above the knee length skirt so it's really versatile you can do this with any elastic waist skirt but I love that you can raise or lower and that tip of raising and lowering an elastic waist skirt was given to me by a dear friend of mine, Veronica Verona Britt on uh, Instagram. So I will link her below. And she talked me into this in the dressing room. We were texting about it. So thanks, Veronica. I love it. I bought one pair of jeans in the sale. I have a lot of jeans. I still want more, but I had to just, you know, we had a budget and I stuck to my budget. I'm very proud of myself. These are my first jeans from Madewell and I love them. I get why everybody loves them. These are the 10 inch high rise skinny jeans and I'm not entirely sure what wash they are, but they are so comfortable and soft. They feel like they're already broken in. I love them. Definitely going to be picking up more. I love the button fly. I just think it's a really fun kind of old school. I remember when button fly first came out and it was a really big deal when I was in junior high or high school. So I like seeing it back again and I paired it. I actually have two Gibson blouses that I got in the sale. This first one, it reminds me kind of an Hermes scarf print, you know, that sort of equestrian theme. It has some interesting details. There's a little ruffle around the neckline, like a little tiny pleated one. The puff shoulders, it buttons in the back. Just one button, it's like an elastic loop closure. It's easily done on your own. It's a really just fun print. I I'm trying to add either more color and or prints into my wardrobe because I, when I was looking through my closet, I realized that it is very solid color monochromatic. So trying to change things up a little bit. I should also mention the booties. I bought two pairs of shoes in the sale so far. I'm trying really hard not to add to it, but there's a lot of really cute ones out there. These are from Vince Camuto, a brand I buy every year, always in the sale. And then well, let's face it, I just keep buying them as the year goes on. But I really love Vince Camuto shoes in general. I've specifically been looking for a pair of black booties with a black heel, all black, and just leather. Just something very basic, monochromatic, one color. And these are super pointy, but they're very comfortable. They have a zipper up the back, and they, they kind of stretch and mold with your foot as I've been wearing them. So I'm really, really pleased with this purchase. Okay, here we go with some more animal print. This again is from Gibson, and I just saw this and thought it was super unique. It comes in other prints, but I just, I don't know, there's something about this color combination. I love the smocking and the sleeve length and the cuffs. Just everything about this shirt is just different and fun. And the price point is amazing. And so I snatched it up. Um, it is a little more close fitting to the body than I normally wear, but I kind of like that. But if you feel uncomfortable, throw a cardigan over it. I would do maybe a navy cardigan on top of it. And you get that fun little, little peak of the print and all that without having the whole body like on display. But I really like it the way it is. I think it's really cute with these jeans, but you could definitely wear them with dress pants and dress it up a little bit. And it's just a really fun top for date night or going out. Let's mention these booties. So this was the second pair that I bought. And these are also from Vince Camuto. I love a nude booty. I would call this more like a nude sandal booty because it's open toed and the sides are open. So definitely going to be wearing this starting right now. And because of where I live, I can wear them straight through the winter. You can usually count on some sort of peep toe, open toe, Vince Camuto nude booty to make a huge splash in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And this is clearly this year's option and I love it. So let's talk about this very bright, very pink, leopard print t-shirt. I got this in a size small because I wasn't sure how the sizing ran with this brand and I figured even if it's a little bit big, I don't mind t-shirts being too big, but I definitely did not want it to be too small. Obviously it's fun and easy to wear with a pair of jeans, slacks. I mean, you can do a lot with this. You could wear it under, I would see that I could see, depending on your office environment, you could wear this under a suit. Just have that little pop of color in there, but it's actually a very soft drapey material and really comfortable to wear too. This J Crew tee, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. Um, I wore it to bingo and I still have it tied in the knot that from when I wore it to bingo. And it is my first J Crew t-shirt. Runs true to size, very nice thin weight cotton, easy to layer, easy to be worn on its own. 
I don't know what more you could say. I'm really loving a graphic tee and I'm looking forward to adding some more to my collection. Now let's talk about the clutch. Let's look at it a little closer. I have it right here. This is a Nordstrom brand. It also comes in a snakeskin print, I think. It has a magnetic closure, so that's easy. And then what I really like on the back is it has a pocket to put your phone in. Then on the inside, what's really nice about a slim clutch, I actually took the chain. It does have a shoulder chain. I'm not gonna use it. Um, it actually has card slots here, so I don't need to bother with a wallet. All right, let's get into some cardigans. So this first one caught my eye. Now, if you don't like all these colors, it does come in some solid colors as well, as well. But this material, you can't appreciate it until you've touched it in real life. The Barefoot Dreams cardigan that I've been raving about for years, it's a very similar kind of chenille softness. It's, it is as exactly, it's cozy and lovely and wonderful. I love it. Okay, that's all there is to it. So, like I said, if the crazy color print is not your thing, it definitely comes in solids as well. Now, I didn't actually buy this one in the haul. I bought it, I think, in the winter time when it was just offered regularly. It's from BP, and they brought it back for the anniversary sale, which I'm really happy about because it sold out in about a week when they offered it over the winter time. And this is just more like a duster kind of cardigan. There are no pockets, it doesn't close. It's longer in length. It's a very thin weight, so it's great for layering. And it kept me pretty warm right now. Of course, it's like 100 degrees outside, so I'm sweating just sitting here. But it's a fun way to add a print. I love it. It was really kind of my first serious leopard print that I, I bought, and I'm really glad that I have it, and I'm glad Nordstrom brought it back. All right, let's get into some outerwear. First, we have this kind of blanket scarf concept from Treasure and Bond. And it's interesting because it, when you first get it, it looks like it should have sleeves and everything. It just is cut so that it has a notch for where you put your head and a notch for each arm to come out. And what I like about that is that if you want to wear it like a regular scarf and kind of bunch it around and not use it with arms and stuff like that, you could do that, but it is meant to be worn almost like draped over like a coat. I've also seen people take a big wide leather belt and belt it around it so it's more of like a outer layer than, a, than anything that will give you warmth, but will definitely be great for fall, cool, crisp evenings, football game watching, tailgating. I can just envision it. I can smell the pumpkin candles burning. I love this thing. Don't wanna go too much into this coat. Like I said, if you watched my try-on video, you saw this in the try-on. I loved it so, so much. So I snatched it up. You can wear it closed. It belts very nicely. It has great pockets. It runs true to size. I got it in a small. I didn't size down on this one and it is a lighter weight. It's definitely a jacket, like it will keep you warm to a degree, like this is not gonna be a winter coat. It might be a winter coat for me because where I live it doesn't get quite that cold, but um, this is definitely a fall coat for the northern part of the United States for sure. Oh, this coat, this is definitely a statement piece. I feel even more of a statement piece than the uh, leopard trench and my friend Rowdy here feels the same way. In fact, he thinks it's so cozy. I think he was confused. He saw me wearing fur. I don't know what was happening here, but it's faux fur. It's from BB Dakota. It does come in more of like a tan brown color, but I really love this pale pink when I saw it in the store. I just went right to it. It's so cozy. I will say, again, it runs true to size like the other one. So I got it in a small, not an extra small. The sleeves, I wouldn't say they run small, but I could have maybe sized down to the extra small in the body, but I don't know that my arms would have worked with it. So go more for your true body size um, or adjust, adjust accordingly for your arms. I don't have particularly big arms, but they're certainly not small. I'd say they're just kind of average. So I hope that helps you in the sizing. Small worked out just fine. I had room, but I think if I went down to an extra small, if I was wearing um, anything other than like a t-shirt weight clothing on my arms, it would get a little snug in there. This was another one that was not on my radar, but when I went in store to shop, I saw this. I think it just reminds me of a barber coat without being a barber priced coat. I like that it has the adjustable snaps in the back if you wanna make it a little tighter. It does snap and zip. It's, it comes in other colors, but I love this sort of taupey shade. I may be drawn to that because it's basically the same color as my dog. There's dog drool on it. I think you can see that on the sleeve. Rowdy got very excited about all these try-ons. Could not figure out what I was up to. so. Normally it doesn't have that extra shading right here, but I love this coat. I love that it is lined in the same fleece that the Wubby pullover from the same brand, if you're gonna see it in a minute. So it's cozy, it's a great fall coat. I'm going to Vermont this fall. This coat is definitely coming with me. It's just 
Can you just picture the leaves falling, strolling through the woods wearing this jacket? I cannot believe I am the age that I am and I've never owned a classic trench coat. So we just corrected that. I had a different one on my list. Uh, I saw this one in store and grabbed it. It's by Halogen. I did not go with the petite on this one. Uh, I like a little bit more room in my coats and the length is just fine the way it is. You can button it, you can leave it open, you can you know, wear it like a bathrobe and just tie it without buttoning. The hood is detachable, which is really nice. It's a very just classic trench coat at a really good price and so I bought it. And then the last piece of outerwear I actually bought last year as well. This is the 2019 version and it is definitely a new and improved version. So even if you already have a Wubby pullover from Thread and Supply, you might wanna revisit this. It comes in more color options, number one, but number two, the actual weight of the material is thinner. So you lose the bulk without losing the warmth because those were very square, boxy, bulky pullovers, but this is, it's perfect. It has the kangaroo pocket, the zip, three quarter zip or one quarter zip. It's everything about it is wonderful and so much better than last year and it's so soft. If it wasn't 100 degrees outside, I'd still be wearing it. Sweaters, okay, first one is from Caslon. You know I love the brand. This is again a very soft, comfortable sweater and I like that it has this color blocking. It's just not a basic solid colored sweater. There's something going on. Even if you turn around, there's something new going on. It's just, it's. I love the colors. I just think it's super pretty. There are other color options, but I'm a, the pale green and the blue and the pink and the gray, they all just screamed to me. So pick that one up. Another piece from Caslon. I saw this online and I knew I had to grab it. This also comes in a solid pink, which I may pick up and I may size up. So this one I went with the assumption that Caslon runs big and I got it in an extra small. And it fits just fine. It's very, it fits more, it's not oversized at all this way. It, it fits perfectly but I kind of feel like I want this tunic to be a bit more oversized, maybe something I'd throw on at the end of the day over something I already have on. It has a little hood, it's basically a hoodie. I don't really see myself wearing this so much with jeans as like leggings, gym shoes, something very casual. So I may, I'm keeping this one, but I may go back and get the pink one and a small instead of an extra small. Yes, you see another leopard sweater. This one is from Something Navy, and I love that it's more of like a creamy white and black, it, black or gray, can't even remember now. You'll know, you're looking at the screen. Anyway, I love this color combination. It's a you know busier print, but the neutral colors tone it down, and then I love that I can wear it with maybe something that has color as well. This came in a cardigan version as I am filming this. The cardigan is sold out and I'm very sad because I kind of wanted the cardigan too. It's just, I don't know what to tell you. It's size small, it fits great, it's really, really soft. Again, it almost feels like it's made out of chenille. It's that kind of material and I will be wearing this on repeat. Probably come winter time. We don't really have fall here. And then the last sweater, this comes in a ton of colors as well, again from Caslon. It's the double V. The V in the front is a little bit low. It's not crazy low, but it's definitely something you could wear a tank or a cami under and you would be okay with that. I think it's great if you pair it with a scarf like I'm doing here. I saw this blanket scarf from Soul Society and I had to have it. I don't know what it is with me and Leopard right now. This is not normal, but I love the size of the Soul Society scarf and it's thin. It's not a heavy wool kind of blanket scarf, so I can wear this pretty soon and then keep wearing it. It's very layerable. It's a and it's also soft. It feels like literally like a blanket. Like this is something that's going to come on the airplane with me for sure. And then the last outfit is what I'm wearing right now. It is my BP cozy pajamas top and bottom, both in a size small. Also comes in a variety of other prints and solids. I wanted something that if I had to run outside to grab a package or take the garbage out or something, yes, I'm wearing pajamas, but it's not like, oh wow, she's wearing pajamas and she's outside. I also want to mention these slippers. These are the Ugg Scuffet slippers. I got these, I think, last year or the year before. They were not exactly this color when I bought them. I didn't waterproof them and I probably should have. And then this is a little TMI, but one of my dogs had a little accident and I wasn't sure how to clean them, so I threw them in the washing machine. And what I found was that they changed to this slightly darker color, but also the lining that had gotten a little matted down sprung back up and was fluffy again. So if you're worried about your Uggs, waterproof them when you first buy them, you can definitely wash the slippers. I don't know about the whole 
line, but you can definitely wash these slippers and it restores the sheepskin lining. So there you go. So that is my epic haul from 2019's Nordstrom anniversary sale. This is just one part. There's still a whole lot of beauty and that's coming up next week. So happy shopping to all of you who are just getting into store this week. I promise there is a lot still left. Tons of great bargains. I would love to hear from you. What did you haul? If you've already shopped, what are you planning on getting if you haven't? Thank you so much for all the DMs and all the questions about the sale so far. It's been a lot of fun connecting with so many more of you over the last week or so. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me, and I will see you in the next video.